Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my February and March 2019 favorites video. I intended on this just being my February favorites video, but we are halfway through March now, just about, and so I figured I would just pile them all together. So this might be a little bit longer or I might be sharing a few more items than normal. So just grab a cup of hot tea or coffee or whatever you like and enjoy the video. Let's just jump right in with my food and drinks category, which is always where I start. So this month I have two different items that I want to share in my favorite food and drink of the past couple of months. And it's pretty, they're pretty funny because they're all sitting over here. So if I'm looking this way, that's why. And if I'm looking down, it's because I have my phone, which has my notes on it. They're the same shape, but the um, nutritional value, I would say, is a little different. So we'll start with the better nutritional value. <laughs> so these... Mandarin oranges, I have loved. They are so delicious at this time of year. And as you can see, I only have a few left in this big old three pound bag. I love these for a variety of reasons. One of the reasons why I love these little mandarin oranges, I'm trying to pull one out, I don't know whether. One of the reasons why I love these is because they take me a minute to eat because you have to obviously peel them and then you're peeling the little pieces apart and I like to get all the little strings off the edge and so they take me like a few minutes to really kind of pull apart and eat and it's like mindful eating. Um, so, and they're just delicious. It's like a good boost of vitamin C. Love, love these mandarin oranges. So that's the first thing. The second thing, I warned you, not quite as healthy. <laughs> And they are these nerds. They are the big chewy nerds and um, they are just so delicious. I love these. So the thing is though, they have four flavors in the bag and I only like two of the flavors. The flavors are orange, lemon, strawberry, and grape and I only like the strawberry and grape. The lemon and the orange ones I think taste like cleaners. I don't like them. Um, here's what they look like. Let me get a, a purple. There you go. If you can hear that sound, that's the sound of my camera adjusting. Um, I know some people in, in videos have said, what's that sound? It's the sound of my camera focusing on these little things. So they have, a, they, the outside is a nerd exterior, like it tastes like a crunchy little nerd, and the inside is chewy, gummy, which is why they're called big chewy nerds, crunchy and chewy candy. They're so good. I love these things. This would be a good Easter basket stuffer if you want something like that. So that is in my food and drink, something healthy, something not healthy, both delicious. Moving on to makeup and beauty. I have quite a few things in makeup and beauty. I almost always do every month because this is my favorite category. It, I just like love, I'm not like a, by any means, by any stretch of the imagination, a beauty YouTuber, anything like that. I just love like lotions and potions and trying new makeup and try, I just love it. I just really love it. So. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is this. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. And here's what it looks like. It comes in a little tiny size and then in this big mama size. This I purchased for our trip to Disney. It doesn't have a smell. I'm not really sure why I just smelled it. Um, I purchased for our trip to Disney. I shared it in like my pre-Disney trip haul. I wanted to try it out. I had heard really good things about it. The first time that I heard someone talk about it was Louise Pentland, who is one of my favorite YouTubers. And she talked about how much she loves this, like a couple of years ago, I think, um, for taking off makeup. So I brought this to Disney. I used it while we were there for the week that we were there. And then when we got home, I, I got another at least week or two weeks out of it. You only really need such a little amount. I don't even know if I've used a quarter of it yet. Again, you really don't need a lot. Um, it doesn't have any um, fragrance in it or anything like that. And it works beautifully, beautifully. So that's why I'm willing to spend more on something like this because it works. It's made for sensitive skin. It doesn't have any fragrance in it and it is great. So I take a little bit, I rub it between my fingers and put it on my eyes. It's so gentle. You can put it directly on your eyes. It takes your mascara, even waterproof mascara off in a second um, and then I rub it around you know the rest of my face and a little bit down my neck because I always try to kind of put a little bit of blend you know blend a little bit anyway I do that and then I just take a washcloth and I take warm water and I just gently kind of wash it off before I cleanse my face it's made a really big difference in my skin it's one of the only things that I have changed with regards to my skincare routine I'm still using a lot of those Acura products that I talk have talked about um, in previous months videos and things like that and um, it just, 
is gentle and moisturizing. I really like it. I just really, really like it, especially in these winter months where my skin just gets so dry. This has been a game changer. So if you're interested, then you should check it out for sure. And you could even just try the little one if you wanted to try um, the little one. But I feel like this is a new staple for me, this Clinique Take the Day Off. It works so well. It's amazing. It just like melts your makeup off and it's so gentle and your skin doesn't feel real tight and dry afterwards. Okay, two more things in the makeup and beauty category. The next thing is definitely one of my newest obsessions and it's the Burt's Bees Goodness Glows Liquid Makeup Foundation. Here is what it looks like. Funny enough, and this shade is 1010 Ivory. Um, I received this as a gift. My friend Jenny for my birthday in December gave me a really sweet package. She included, I'm looking at it right now, that little chip mug that was in the background of my last video um, and like a really cute ornament and a few different things, some tea. It was like a really sweet package and for my birthday and one of those things was this and I said, you know you're pale when your friends can buy you foundation because they just know to go all the way to the left. And she said, actually, I picked the one. It wasn't the exact left one. It was one over. So this is the second lightest shade. I love this foundation. I'm wearing it right now. The reason why I love it is because it is in between. It's definitely, to me, a medium coverage foundation, which for me has been perfect for day-to-day -day use. My other two favorite fa foundations, I have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Long Lasting, whatever that stuff is, and it's great for special occasions, but to me that is like, it is like full coverage and I use a beauty blender to put it on and it's just for me that's just not a day-to-day -day thing I work from home I wear leggings every day that feels like a little bit much for me and my lifestyle the other foundation that I absolutely love is the bare minerals complexion perfecter gel I've talked about it several times on my channel and that to me is a very light coverage foundation so this is like directly in the middle and I have been using it every day I apply it with my fingertips I put two pumps on my fingertips and I just do it on my cheeks my nose you know I put I put it on my face it's face foundation. I really like the way that it wears during the day. It's very moisturizing, very soothing. I don't feel like I get overly oily or shiny with it. I feel like it lasts really well. Um, powders layer really well on top of it. I just, I just like it a lot. Um, I'm pretty sure that she got it from Target um, but I know that Burt's Bees is sold at Walmart. I'm sure it's sold probably in most places, CVS, Walgreens, things like that. As usual, I'll put links to everything that I can link below. So if you want to go check out the price point or check out, you know, where you could buy it or ingredients or anything like that, you could go ahead and do that. But um, again, this Burt's Bees Goodness Glows is my definite new favorite everyday um, foundation, especially during, since I got it in December, I've used it literally all through December, all through January, and now all through February, and now we're well into March, and I'm still using it all the time. So you can see I've used about half in those three months. I still will totally use those other two foundations. The Estee Lauder for me, like I said, is more of a special occasion thing because it's, it just takes longer to put on. And so date nights or, you know, if we're going to see a show or if, we're, if it's a holiday, like I'll totally go and do, if we're getting pictures taken, things like that, I'll use that. And then the Bare Minerals, I suspect I'll probably whip out and be using more um, throughout the summer because it's so hot here and that's just a very nice, lightweight SPF foundation. So... This is the one that I'm loving right now though, the Burt's Bees. I think before I started talking about that, I said that I only had th that one and then I only had one more, but I actually have two more now. So sorry if that was confusing. This one I don't have too much to say about other than I just really like it. It is a Method Body Wash um, and the scent is called Pure Peace. It is a very springy, can you tell that I'm ready for spring? I'm so ready for spring. The fall, the late fall and winter were really tough for me and then the weather has been super just dark and heavy and I am like just, I'm ready for spring more than I've ever been ready for spring. And this smells, oh it's so good, it's so good. If you don't like a scents that have a tint of floral to them, you will not like this. This definitely has a floral scent. The scent notes that it says on the front are peony, rose water, and pink sea salt, so it's definitely floral. Love it. It's very moisturizing. I love it. I got this from Grove Collaborative. My referral link is always below. You get like a free five piece kit if you um, use my referral link when you're making your first Grove order, but you can also get Method. I've seen it at my grocery store. I've seen it at Target, so it's not hard to find. 
this smells amazing and I love it's very moisturizing and very soothing so this is my current favorite body wash one last thing in the makeup and beauty section this is another one that I picked up from Grove this is my second or third bottle of this I've been using it for quite a few months and I might have already mentioned it but I don't think I have and if I haven't I don't know why I have it because it's been so great for my skin this is the tree to tub shea butter for body in the relaxing lavender scent again I got this from Grove collaborative I have not seen it in stores although I am sure that you can find it in stores somewhere if you look you could go to the tree to tub website and find out um, I know that you can get it on um, <clears throat> on Grove so this is a very natural product. Um, on the side it says organic, ultra gentle, pH balanced, hypoallergenic, cruelty free, vegan, fair trade, eco-friendly, no silicone, sulfates, parabens, gluten, or perfume. It is scented with essential oil, with lavender essential oil, and it smells exactly like lavender essential oil. I've probably mentioned before that I love the scent of real lavender and of real lavender essential oil, but I strongly dislike the manufactured scent of lavender. So this is a very natural scent. I really like the consistency of this. It is very, very moisturizing, but it is not heavy, which is hard to find for those of you who are people who also have dry skin like me. It's hard to find something that both moisturizes your skin, but doesn't feel like you're wearing this thick, awful layer of like goop all over your body throughout the day. I really like this. I love that it has a pump. I love that it has a pump because I get out of the shower and I just stand there and I just pump and I apply this lotion all over my body. I really like it. It smells really nice. Um, it's very soothing, <clears throat> but it's a very light scent. You don't like walk around smelling like a lavender plant all day. It, you know, by the time I'm fully dressed, the scent has dissipated, but it's, it's a nice experience when you're putting it on. All right, next up is my home decor and products category. Neither of these things, these are both products. They're not really home decor items. The first one is this Erin Condren Lay Flat Notebook. It's like a soft bound notebook, um, so you can bend you can bend it. It has really beautiful kind of gold on the edges. It has a pink satin ribbon. It has this little detailing which is really common for Erin Condren and the inside is lined. I actually did a giveaway with these notebooks. This was sent to me for PR purposes because I talk about Erin Condren nonstop because it is a company that I genuinely love and I love their products and have been using them now for quite a while. So this, along with several others, um, which some of them I gave away in a big giveaway I did on my um, Instagram page, were sent to me for free. So I want to be just very clear about that. I did not purchase this. This was sent to me. But I love it. It is such a good little journal. I love it because you can write down, like you can journal or write down goals. I like, I've always liked having a kind of flex notebook. So I always have a to-do list notebook, which is basically like my paper planner. I have had videos on that. I've talked about that a lot, so I'm not going to go into that here. And then I always like to have a separate notebook that is more of like a flex space where I can write down how I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, if I want to write down what I'm eating that day or a recipe I want to try, ideas, goals. Um, I mean, any kind of thing like that. I, I just like having having kind of like a flex notebook that I can go through and I have gone through several in my adult life and this is my latest and greatest that I love. One of the things that's cool about this one in comparison to the other ones that I've had from Erin Condren is that it is a lay flat notebook, meaning that it lays flat. So when you put it down, there's no bump in the middle. There's not a coil, of course, or anything like that. So this would be great for lefties. If you are left-handed, um, you could totally take advantage of that. These notebooks are quite affordable. I don't remember how much they cost because again, I didn't purchase this with my own money, although I've purchased a lot of things from Erin Condren with my own money over the years. Um, but I do know that I have a referral link that will give you $10 off. So if you're interested in checking this or anything else out on the site, that referral link is always below. So you can go check that out. Um, and we both get $10 if you use it. Um, I just really like it. I like that it's flexible. I like that you can pop it into your bag really easily and you're not worried about it getting mangled. I love having a bookmark in a journal-y kind of notebook like this and I like that it lays flat. So I definitely wanted to share that. Um, I think it's a really good addition to the Erin Condren line. They already have so many great things that I've talked about a whole lot. Um, and this is, this is my newest love. This is my newest Erin Condren love. So that's the first thing in my home decor and products section. 
The second thing um, are these AirPods. Now, these are something that I received from Riley for Christmas. And um, if you are not familiar, these are wireless headphones from Apple. So you put them in your ears and they charge in this little case. And so you actually pull off the bottom of this case and that's where you charge. You charge this whole case and then the case charges um, the individual headphones. Now the case when you receive it is just a white plastic like classic Apple case and then I purchased this kind of mint silicone sleeve to go over it because I wanted to be able to use this to hook it onto my key rings. I wanted to protect the case and this is a lot easier for like going to the gym because I can hook it to my keys. These are really expensive. For headphones they're really expensive. Unbeknownst to both of us I gave Riley a pair of AirPods for his birthday, which is two days after Christmas, and he gave me a pair for Christmas. And both of us use them literally all day, every day, I mean all the time. I have a pair of wireless headphones that are over the ear, and I still do like them, but I like these a lot better. I have to be honest, I do like these a lot better. They are so lightweight that you cannot feel them in your ear at all, and they don't shake out. I love that they you can pick up a phone call on them, so I use them all the time when I'm talking to my mom, talking to my sister, talking to friends. I'll just pop them in my ears, and I can just be folding laundry, cooking, doing dishes, whatever, and there's a microphone, so I can just be talking and just have these. Because I also have an Apple Watch, I can link my AirPods to my watch so I don't even have to have my phone with me if I want to go on a walk or anything like that. I can listen to audiobooks, I can listen to music, podcasts, anything. Um, I, they just really work for me and for my lifestyle. Because I'm working from home and I'm by myself at home for about eight hours a day, it's really nice to be able to pop these in while I'm doing housework around the house, while I'm packaging up Etsy orders, responding to emails, working with mentees, obviously not while I'm Skyping with mentees, but if I'm emailing with mentees and I just want to listen to music, I can pop these in. Um, I just love them. I really love them. Again, they're not cheap, and I get that. Like, I really do get that. They were definitely a gift that we gave, you know, gave and received, but they... Are really great like I really I really like them I've been surprised I knew that I would like them to some degree but they I reach for them every day I had to go grab these off my bedside table because just last night before bed I was listening to something before I went to sleep um, just use them all the time so that is my second and final thing in the home decor and products section all right this is gonna be a long video because I am sharing a lot since it's two months worth. Moving on, let's talk about entertainment, which includes TV, music, books, audiobooks, the internet, blogs, Instagram accounts, basically anything that could fall under the entertainment category. So there is a YouTuber that I recently found because she was suggested to me on my feed just because I think one of her videos kind of went viral and her name is Jamarelle Stewart and she is a mom of I think 10 children who lives in the, the mountains of Virginia and um, she is just the sweetest, most relaxing lady. The reason why I found her channel is because YouTube kept recommending me to watch one of her, um, she does these like freezer cooking days where she makes like literally hundreds of pans and meals of freezer meals for her large family because she she's like a total, she's awesome. She's like a total girl boss. She runs this blog, multiple blogs and her YouTube channel and things like that and provides for her entire family and actually has retired her husband because she's bringing in such a large income. And I'm like, get it girl, get it. She's just amazing. She's really a unique really cool woman. She loves Jesus. She loves the Lord. She homeschools her kids. She runs this awesome business. She makes all these meals all the time. And um, I just like watching her. Sometimes it's fun to watch people's channels whose lives are so vastly different than yours and just appreciate how the diversity of the human experience. I just think it's really, I just really enjoy that. And so I have just loved watching her videos. I feel like she has such a soothing voice, a soothing way of talking. And um, she's a very like positive, take everything in stride kind of attitude, which is what makes her an amazing mom of like 10 children. I'm, I'm almost positive she has 10. Maybe she has eight and then it's a family of 10. I think that sounds familiar. But anyway, Jamerel Stewart, I will link her channel below because I know that it's hard to remember names like that. Um, but if you if you have a large family, you definitely need to go watch her because she is great. Um, but if you're just like me and you just like seeing how other people live and cook and things like that, feed their families, you will love her. She's great. So 
let's move on to my clothing accessories category. I had a picture, which I will put up right now on the screen, that I shared on Instagram of um, me in Disney World taking my, every year I take the same exact picture. And um, I was wearing this pair of jeans, which were new, to, they're new to me. I purchased them um, after Christmas. I think I had some Christmas money or maybe just before Disney, I don't really remember. But they are a pair of Levi jeans and um, I'm obsessed with them. They are the 721 High Rise Skinny. I typically wear a size 6 in women's and these are a size 28 and they fit me well. I love these jeans. They have a little bit of stretch to them. I like the darker fabric on them. They are high rise, which I really like because they suck everything in. <laughs> and um, I think they just are really, to me, I think they're really flattering. Um, because of that because they're a little bit more high-rise, which I like high-rise anyway, but these are definitely high-rise um, I just love them. They're just really well-made jeans. I bought them off Amazon of all places I don't know. Why I'm saying that I buy everything off Amazon I bought them off Amazon and um, I think they were about 40 or 50 dollars worth every penny I wear them all the time today is like an Etsy packaging day for me So I'm wearing a pair of leggings because I always wear a pair of leggings when I'm packaging Etsy orders But I've been wearing these a whole lot and I'm not jeans have to be really comfortable for me to wear them a whole lot So you could give them a shot um, because they're from Amazon, if you have an Amazon Prime membership, they're free returns. So you could purchase them in a few sizes if you were between sizes, um, and they have different washes if you wanted a lighter wash or things like that. I think they probably have black and things like that, and try them out. But the um, 721 High Rise Skinnies Levi's, I love these jeans. They're my definitely my new fa favorite pair of jeans. Next up is something that has been hilarious because I've gotten so many comments about it, people asking me about it, and it is the backpack that I took to Disney World. This is by a brand called Travelon. I got it from eBags. I have a referral code for eBags as well that gives you 25% off, which is a really good deal. You can also get this on Amazon, but I think that the eBags is a better deal because I purchased this on eBags and I would have purchased it on whichever site was cheaper. So that's that. I've talked about this in my Disney videos. I'm not going to talk about it too, too long today. It's basically a travel backpack. It has zippers. The zippers lock onto the ends. This tassel I purchased separately from Amazon. It did not come with the backpack. Here you can see it. there's a locking mechanism here. Um, there's a front pouch and then there's this. On the inside there are um, a variety of different little pouches and slots and zippered things, things like that. This has a magnetic closure. And then the straps are adjustable. The fabric is RFID protected, it's slash proof, it's waterproof, it's all of those kinds of things. I per brought this and several other bags to Disney. If I was not on YouTube, I would have brought one bag. But because I am on YouTube, I intended on trying out a variety of different bags to report back because that is one of the most common questions that I get all of the time. Um, I'm going to Disney what bag do you recommend that I take for going into the parks each day? I mean, I can't tell you how, I get that question a lot. And so I was trying to be like a good YouTuber and do my research in the field. In some ways I did, I kind of failed. I literally only used this bag the entire week. I never used another bag the entire time. I love this bag. I love this bag. I love this bag. It comes in a couple of different colors. So if you didn't want the black, I think there's like a gray, there's probably like a, I think there's like a teal blue and like, maybe a reddish burgundy or pink or something like that. I got the black because I just felt like it went with everything. I love this bag so much. It worked out so perfectly. It's very slim. It's very lightweight. I wasn't carrying around. If you're trying to carry around, like if you have kids and you have a bunch of kids stuff that you need to carry around or big bulky sweatshirts or anything like that, this probably wouldn't be the right choice for you. But I just wanted to bring like my vlogging camera, my wallet, sunglasses, just like a few items. And it, they just all fit so perfectly in here. I literally forgot that I had it on. It was so, it was just such a good bag for Disney. It worked out really, really well for me. When I got home, my friend Grady um, sent me a message and she said, oh my gosh, I saw your Disney vlogs. I saw your, your bag. Um, I am about to, she was about to go on an international trip. Do you recommend it? And I was like, yes, get it. You will love it. You can lock it and all these things. And so she took it on an international trip and she said it was, she, fantastic. She bought the gray one. It was really, really cute. And um, she said it was so nice because when she was in crowds, she could just lock, do the little locking mechanism on the, on the bag. And anyway, a really good bag. 
I think people want me to talk more and more about it. I keep getting questions, do you like it? I don't know what else to say other than it's just a really good travel bag. If you're looking for something that's a backpack, that's lightweight and that's slim, this is your girl. Like this is a great option for that. So I will leave links below if you want to go and check it out. You can also read the reviews and watch the videos and things like that um, of people trying it on and they, you know, all of that's online, of course, on Amazon and eBags. Really good bag. I will certainly use this in the future for other travels that we do. Um, it would be a really good airport bag. I think we're flying home for Easter, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, and um, I think I'm going to bring this on the airplane with me because it would fit my iPad really well and my phone and just a couple of things. So love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, last up is my priceless category. We came back from Disney World in early February. I think we got home on like February 2nd. And I had mentioned in my January favorites video, which I filmed prior to our trip, that I knew that it was gonna be one of my favorites. And of course it was. We had such a nice trip. It was it was almost like that trip was kind of the bookend to just a really challenging three or four months for both of us. I've talked about it a little bit online. There just was a lot going on. We had like major grandparent health issues on both sides, everybody's in and out of the hospital. It's very stressful. Everything with our church completely changed and transformed. It was that was very stressful in its own right. Uh, just uh, there's a lot. Work was really crazy. It was very very. It was just a hard few months and both of us were just so in need of a vacation and we went on this Disney World trip and we had the best time. I mean usually we are like up rope drop all day all day all day and we just did it everything differently on this trip. We sat at meals for one and a half hours, two hours, and just enjoyed sitting and being together over a beautiful meal. And we had such good conversations and we made decisions for this year. And we just like were able to process through everything and just, it was awesome. It was so, it was truly a vacation. Some of our Disney World trips have been trips where we've been they've been so much fun, but we've been like up and going. And this was really a vacation. Like it was so relaxing. We had the best time. We still rode rides and did shows and we, you know, we still did all that, but it was just different. And I am, my heart is so grateful for it because it really kind of bookended in a lot of ways that really challenging season. And, um, I feel like I'm in such a better place. Um, not because I went to Disney, but I feel like that was, like I said, kind of the winding down of things being really challenging. And I feel like now we're a couple, you know, six weeks out or seven weeks out or something like that. Just in such a good place, just in such a good place. Those are my February and March favorites. I'm sorry this was so long. Thank you for sticking with me. Leave a comment below with what you've been loving and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.